Hello everyone, welcome to Encryption, the tech tips and tutorial channel. This video is going to be about how to connect two PCs with an Ethernet cable or how to do peer-to-peer -peer networking in practical. Although we are going to learn how to network two PCs with an Ethernet cable in a simulated environment that is by using the Cisco packet tracer, the way is the same in the physical environment as well. That means uh, when you want to transfer files from one PC or laptop to the other PC or other laptop, you will follow exactly the same steps as we are going to learn in this video. So let's get started. Let's launch the Cisco Packet Tracer. If you don't have the Cisco Packet Tracer software already installed on your computer, you should download and install it. If you need assistance on installing the Cisco Packet Tracer, I recommend you to watch the video tutorial by clicking on the link that is displayed on the top right corner of the video in a new tab. Download and install as per the instruction on the video and then come back to this video. This is a logical workspace on the Cisco Packet Tracer. On the top section of it, we can see some of its menu items and tools. On the lower section of the Cisco Packet Tracer UI, we can see some of the networking components such as uh, networking devices, hosts, cables, connectors and so on. First of all, we need to add the two PCs on the logical workspace. For this, uh, click on the end devices here on the lower left corner of the packet treasure. Then click on the PC icon. Drag and drop it to the logical workspace. In the same way, add another PC as well. For better visibility, we can zoom in the logical workspace and its components by clicking on the zoom icons. Here we can see the PC numbers and device name. We can hide or unhide the numbers or names by clicking on the options, then on the preferences and by unchecking the show device model labels checkbox. Now the device model labels have been hidden. It is just an option whether to hide or unhide the device model labels. If you want a nicer, better topology, then you can hide the unnecessary stops from here by going to the options and then clicking on the preferences and selecting uh, the checkbox or unselecting the checkboxes. The device name is just the PC and number is starting from zero. You can change it to if you want to. You can just uh, double click on the PC0 text and rename the device names. Next, we should make a connection between the two PCs uh, with a medium. Since we are going to make a wired connection between the PCs, we should take an Ethernet cable. So for this, uh, click on this flash type of icon on the lower left corner of the packet tracer UI. Here we can see uh, different types of cable. Hovering over them, we see their names. To connect the similar types of devices such as a PC to PC or router to router or devices that work on the same layer of the OSI reference model, we should select the crossover type of cable. Click on it, go to the first PC, click on it and click on the fast Ethernet 0. This is the network port of the PC on which uh, we connect the own end of the cable with the RC45 jack. Then drag it through the PC1. Click on the PC1 and click on the fast Ethernet 0. The cable that we are taking here has the jack or the connector already connected to it. Thus, we don't need to connect the jack separately. Next, we need to assign an IP address to each of the hosts. Before configuring the IP addresses, uh, let's label the addresses just below the PC names uh, by clicking on the place note icon here on the toolbar. This is just for our reference. That means just labeling the name doesn't configure the IP address on the hosts. We will assign the address uh, 192.168.1.10 to the PC0 and 192.168.1.11 to the PC1. To configure an IP address to the packet tracer hosts manually, uh, just uh, click on it. Click on the desktop. Click on IP configurations and make sure the static option is selected. Then on the IP before address box, type the IP address correctly and click on the subnet mask box. Clicking on the box, the subnet mask is automatically filled in. 
since this is a class C address, the default submit mask of the class C uh, 255.255.255.0 is automatically filled in by the simulator. That's all we need to configure on this host. So you can just close this window. The configurations will be automatically saved on exit. Now in the same way, configure the given IP address to the PC1 host. Okay, now the PC should be able to communicate with each other and can receive or transmit the data. To verify the connectivity, we can ping the other hosts from any of the hosts. For this, uh, let's click on the PC0, uh, click on the desktop, click on the command prompt icon and here type ping, then the IP address of the other host or the destination host. If you see the reply coming from the destination host as on the screen, then you should be confirmed that the host can communicate to each other. You can verify from the other PC on the same way as we did from the PC0. That's it. Let's also see the same by connecting the two laptops and verifying the connectivity. We can see the reply coming from the destination laptop. Here what actually happened is that the source PC or the source laptop sent the four packets with 32 bytes of data as an echo message to the destination laptop to check if the destination host is reachable. In reply, the destination host responded the source host with the four packets of 32 bytes of data as an echo reply. This is how we can be confirmed that they are ready to communicate and receive or transmit the data. Let's also label the IP addresses. Further, if you want to transfer your files from your laptop to your friend's laptop or any other PC, you should share the file or the folder which you want to transfer and access that folder from the destination host. Last but not the least, Let's also uh, see the communication process in a simulation mode. Here on the lower right corner of the packet tracer UI, click on the simulation tab. Then click on one of the PCs or laptop. Click on the command prompt and run the ping command with the destination host IP as an argument. Next, minimize the window. Here you can see a packet is ready to be delivered to the destination. To the destination. Let's play the simulation by clicking on the play button here. We can see the packet with ICMP echo request message going towards the destination host. If the destination host is ready to communicate, it sends back the packet with an echo response message. And otherwise, the destination host drops the packet. As you can see, the destination host is sending back the packets with the ICMP echo response messages. We can check on the laptops on the same way. But instead of going to the command prompt and running the ping command, we can take the packet from the toolbar of the Cisco Packet Tracer UI, drop it on the source host and click on the destination host. Then click on the play button of the simulation to begin the communication process. To stop the simulation or to switch from the simulation mode, click on the real time tab. Okay guys, this is how we can connect the two PCs or the two hosts of the same type with an ethernet cable and configure them to communicate to each other. I hope the video was useful to you. Please subscribe the channel and hit the bell icon to get notified when other videos are uploaded. Thanks for watching. See you on other videos. Till then, have a nice time. Goodbye.